Hey guys, uh, this is Weven. Today I'm going to show you uh, on how to do the uh, 3D bullets in a Counter Strike source. Uh, so there is the video that maybe some of you uh, saw on my YouTube channel. So let's have a look at it. Okay, so that is go what we're going to create uh, today. So uh, first of all, uh, you will need to uh, import the uh, CSS map, which uh, which is DDoS2, if I'm right. Yeah, I am. I'm not a CSS player, but I know that map. I mean, it's the most famous one. So, uh, anyways, yeah. So you you will need to. Um, to download uh, this uh, this program called um, Crafty Object Viewer um, that allows you to import the CSS maps. Okay, so once you have uh, Object Viewer downloaded, uh, just go to View S File System Browser. Then click on Counter Strike Source Shared CS Strike and then Maps. Okay, so here you have the list of all the maps uh, in Counter Strike. Uh, the one we are going to use today is uh, DDoS 2 because it's the most used, I think. And uh, yeah, and the others, I mean, you can use them too. It's, uh, I mean, I used the D nuke uh, for one of my previous clips. Uh, you can, yeah, work with all of them, but yeah, we're going to work with uh, DDoS 2 for today. Uh, so click twice on uh, DDoS 2. Okay, so here you have the preview uh, of the map uh, on DDoS 2. So yeah, you can move with the arrows. You know, have a look at the map. See if anything has changed, but I think it's normal. Uh, yeah, don't worry about this white box. Uh, I'll explain you later. Just yeah, just leave it as it is. So uh, we want to export this uh, to 3ds Max. So we're going to click on File, Export, and just choose a file, uh, yeah, a file where you want to uh, to export all, if, uh, all your object files from uh, this program. So I've created a file uh, which only has Counter Strike things, so I don't get uh, lost. So once you created your file, uh, just just save it. Uh, I won't save it again because I already have it here. Okay, so now you've uh, exported the uh, DDoS2 map. Uh, we are going to uh, open it into 3D Max. So we're going to search for it. So just go here and open. Uh, depending on the uh, 3D Max version you have, you know, I use 2010, but you can use pretty much any version you want. So uh, I'm going to look for my. Uh, so there is my CSS source uh, folder. Uh, as you can can see, there is uh, we can't see my obj file that we exported. That's because the file types here is into max, and you have to change this into all files. There you go. There's the DDoS2 um, obj file with all the uh, textures. Yeah. Uh, so just just click on it twice. Okay, so this uh, little window is going to pop up, and it's basically all the um, all the objects and textures that uh, is going to be imported um, into the S Max. Uh, just one thing: uh, this this tool might not work for all of you. Um, 
I had a few problems uh, with uh, with the tool with my old computer. Uh, now I have the new one and it works perfectly. But um, I don't know. It, it might uh, might not import for all of you guys. So um, so I'm sorry for for those who are going to have this problem. I hope not because it's very annoying and I haven't found a way to uh solve this uh problem. So uh so anyway, uh we're going to import the map just here. Don't don't click uh, any of these, just leave it as as it is. Okay, so we had the loading screen and uh it had like uh a one hundred thousand pieces or something. Um so that that is a lot and uh, that's why I told you for some of you guys it might not work depending on the computer you have uh, because it's quite a big file so um, we're not going to work with these three screens so we might as well have a full screen um, so just click here to have the full screen uh, you can either do that or what I use is the shortcut key is uh, Alt W. Okay, so now we have the the CSS uh, DDoS2 map. Uh, it's vertical, uh, which won't be very good for the players because they might fall down. So we'll just put it uh, horizontal. So uh, press E here. There's a short key. Uh, you can also um, use this uh, this tool here. So this is moving. This is rotating, and that one is for scaling. But we'll use the rotating tool. So press there or press E. Uh, then press this tool. Uh, it's the angle snap tool. It's uh, every time you go. Uh, down it will move five degrees so let's turn it 90 degrees okay so that is done okay so once you have this uh, in this position uh, you'll see that there is this uh, map like this underground map I don't know how you can call this um, just just leave that it's it it's not that important uh yeah and that here you have the these blocks that i previously told you in that object uh, viewer preview thing you had like little white blocks uh doesn't matter you can just delete them just press on one and press delete press on one press delete and do that until you have no of none of these white boxes one over there, one here, one here. Okay, so I think we're done now. Uh, oh, one hiding there. Okay, I've I've no idea w what these boxes are doing, but they're ugly, and we can just delete them. Okay, so uh, there you go. There's the map. Uh, you, I think for you guys must recognize this very good you know it has everything uh, double door here bomb B I think bomb A and all these yeah all these things that you guys know more than me um, so there you go imported the map so what we want to do now is import uh, import one of these characters um, so I don't know I've I've placed mine here in the video um, but you can place it anywhere you want you can place it on the roof to make it happy or in the mountains or just just feel free to do what you want um, okay so let's go to file here imports and then merge uh, 
so let's go to video effects counter strike source okay ct and t those are the files that i've put in the download link that you need to use to import the uh, 3d characters so uh, what shall we choose hmm i'm hesitating ct or terrorists hmm, let's go for counter terrorists okay so you have yeah all, all the different skins just I'll take SAS because it's English. Okay. There, it will open um, another screen with all the. Um, so the SMD import is the mesh actually. And all these biped um, things are the bones, which are very useful to animate. You'll see later. Okay, so uh, there's our um, there's our character just here. So he's pretty nice in a nice shape. Um, so what we can do is either you can move this guy to the top, like I do here, which is better actually because then you don't have to mess about it. Or you can move the the entire map down but you see you have to like select everything and it's not the best idea okay so there you have your your character is in like a T shape um, so that's normal the characters are always like that because uh, they have to get um, wigged um, I'll try to make this sim as simple as possible. Okay, so now we have our character. Uh, we'll just check one thing. Uh, so press a uh, right click and freeze all. Click on his body, object properties, see through. Okay, he's um, he's all grey. Uh, Actually, I think there's some missing textures uh, that happens sometimes when you import an object. So we'll just put his uh, clothes. No, his textures back on. He's uh, closed, which is a good thing actually. Um, okay, so go to your Counter Strike Source CT folder and click on the CT SAS texture. Keep that open and press M into 3D Max which will bring you the material editor um, so yeah this we can just replace this um, if you just slide one of these into there it will keep the the old texture so don't worry so just take this slide it into here there you go and now just uh, yeah, just slide it onto the SMD import on the character or just press assign to material selection. Okay, now so we have the uh, textured um, textured body. Uh, the only problem is, uh, yeah, he can't see a damn thing now. Uh, his eyes, well, his glasses are filled up with the previous texture. Um, <coughs> so in your in your folder you have uh, CTSAS glass but the thing is if you put if you just uh, put the CTSAS glass yeah you see just just puts it on the whole body and we only want it on the glass